Hi everyone, Martin here from martinsmayhem.blogspot.com. I hope you are well. So today's card is going to be this really cute butterfly card, um, which is using the be uh, butterfly beauty finlets to create these beautiful butterflies, as well as the beautiful and strong stamp set that you see here. So shall we get started? Let's move the stamp set out of the way. And put that to one side. So what I've already done is I've already created the background uh, on wa watercolour paper. So I have done a video which I'll link to below. Make sure you check that out. Um, I did say you can see how it's slightly warped. However, what I would suggest is sticking that into your stamparatus. Stick it down with the magnets and that will help flatten it out. But mine's not too bad. As you can see, there's only a slight warp in, and I think when I attach the adhesive to the background, you won't even notice. So, what I've done is I've already pre die cut all my elements that I need, and the reason for that is I've already shown you previously on one of my videos on how to mount these together. So I'm just going to lay these all out, like so, get all the little bits out. So you can see there's a piece of vellum there and a piece of whisper white, a piece of whisper white and a piece of vellum, still a bit stuck in that one, there we go. And then for the largest one as well, there's one of each. So something you might not notice on the card is the vellum in the background white shiny not sure if that's picking it up however it's super pretty and I'm going to show you how to make a glittery vellum so I'm bringing in a little something called Wink of Stella so this is a little brush which I'm just going to shake because I can see that all the glitters kind of pulled at the moment there we go. So it's just a little brush which is completely clear or white. Um, however, when you apply that down, it goes shiny. That's picking that up. So I'm just going to quickly run this all over the butterfly like so. And I'm only doing it on the vellum just so we can have that super subtle effect and you're just going to want to leave that to dry once you've got everywhere covered so I try not to handle it because it is still a little bit wet um, and because of that if you did put your finger on it, you might get fingerprints. So you could always hold these by the antennas, as I am, um, as we're not going to bother running over them because they're going to be covered with the white. Like so, move that out. And the finally the smallest one, I'm just going to run that over. Like so. so it doesn't take long, but it has a massive impact to the final piece. And then it is worth noting as well, because of the Winkle Stella is now on there, it makes it slightly wet. Um, and because vellum doesn't, doesn't like to be wet, it might curl a little bit, which is fine. I left mine, as you can see, mine's quite floaty and mitch match but I like that effect so that's up to you uh, you could always weigh these down so maybe like I suggested with the background with your stamparatus but when we come to the whisper white pieces you'll see that it's much more intricate and delicate but all I'm going to do is make a little crease on each part of the wing so you'll see here that I don't I'm gonna fold it up and out 
and the reason for that is it gives it more of a natural kind of dimension because butterfly wings aren't naturally like this they're more like that so this is how I kind of recreate that by just doing a little fold upwards instead of to the side like that and again with this one I'm just going to fold it like so and I'm not pressing hard or anything I'm just softly letting it find its own way up Like so. And I'm just going to use Tombow to adhere this down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little blob on the back. Spread it out. And just bring the adhesive down onto the antennas. But not so there's loads. And then that's just going to adhere onto the vellum part of the butterfly like so. So you can just line that up and plonk that down and you can just mess with the vellum part as well just so that's a bit floaty like so. And that's how quick and easy it is to make these butterflies. Um, this butterfly does come in as like a solid group of butterflies which I just cut up um, you can kind of see where you have cut them off um so like on the little one you can see here it's just slightly square i don't know there you go all kind of flat even um so you can kind of see however if it bothered you that much stick it behind a sentiment maybe or stick it behind something else just so that bit's not on show but don't just think you have to Use it as one solid, and I've just done that the wrong way. Teaches me right for talking, doesn't it? So, once they're on, they're good to go. So, bringing in a card base of Whisper White. Just me measuring a standard C6 size. And then I'm going to bring in my background as well. Just going to turn that round, and I'm taking the narrow dimensional strips, and I'm just going to place that on the top, bottom, and the two sides. Like so. Just to reinforce it, the strip going diagonally. Maybe a bit just there, a bit just there. So all this is going to do is make sure this stays down nice and firm on our card base because after we've spent so long creating such a unique background you don't want to ruin it so I want the real red at the top and the crushed curry at the bottom and that's just going to sit on the card like so obviously you can spend a little bit longer making that even and what I forgot to do is stamp our sentiment so I'm going to quickly attempt to do that now I apologize for the noise outside it's gone quite sunny and suddenly all the kids have come out so inking up the sentiment and I don't know how well this is going to work because obviously I've already adhered it but we'll try we'll give it a go and I'm just going to stamp that down in the bottom corner of the card so yeah that hasn't come out very well 
But note to self, don't get carried away talking and concentrate on what you're doing. But I'll leave it be. So just adhere down your butterflies now with just a little blob on the back. That's too much. Let's just rub some for this one. So it's going to go at the bottom. Like so that's going to go there. So, and then just a little blob there from that one there. So, of course, the sentiment says you are like a diamond. So, obviously, we need some bling on this card. So, let me just grab my take a pick tool and bring in some rhinestones. And I'm just going to pop them in the empty space. Like so. Just as and where you feel it is required. Like I said, just in empty space. And I'm just going to use six just to hopefully fill that up. And there you have today's card. Ooh, that's not very tiered. Like so. So I hope you enjoyed today's card. And you can see how unique and different both the backgrounds are for this card. But still how much of a dramatic impact it has. I hope you enjoyed today's card. Why not while you're here pop into the description bar below where a full list of the items used um, are listed as well as links to my online shop while you're there like comment and subscribe and why not share to your social media channel so everybody can see how super quick and easy it is to make such a wonderful card i'll see you around bye